What's up guys, Subzero here, and today I'm making a video about some advanced lineups on Lilia's E. I've been spamming her a lot, and I just want to show you guys some things I've seen, but let's just get straight into it. Okay, so to go from base into top lane, I usually use this big arrow um, coming out of the nexus to point me over to this little tuft of grass. If you want to just click like right around up here, right where this brick ends and this little grass exists there. Um, now, uh, the, the way that I've been setting these up is essentially I look for what I'm going to run into as I look all the way up. So if you look all the way up through here, what there's a chance we'll run into is this wall here. We're just going to place our E a little bit out from this wall here, and then we're just going to watch it roll. So it's going to roll all the way up through here. It's going to roll right past that wall and boom, into top lane. So that's the sort of idea behind how I'm trying to find these little E-tricks. If you guys find any, definitely let me know. Um, okay, now for mid lane. And you guys are going to love this one. It's absolutely crazy. I stand right next to this position on the Nexus, so right where this little thing comes out of it. So I can throw the E over this tower. My limiting factor is going to be the side of this inhibitor. So I'm going to go a bit out from it, right to around where the circle is, and then I'm going to throw the E. It's going to roll past all of my towers into mid lane, through all of their towers, past their inhib tower, past their inhib, and it's going to almost field goal right at these, uh, these nexus towers. Now I have minion um, spawning turned off. So that's obviously a factor. If there's minions mid, it's going to get hit by them. But, you know, if you do it while a certain wave is spawning, if you do it while someone's walking back to lane and they're ahead of the minion wave, you can get a cheeky E in there. Um, you know, potentially set up a dive if these towers are gone. So I think it's a it's a really cool tactic. And, you know, maybe someday you'll somehow spot someone coming out of base here and, and hit them with it. Um, now for bot lane... So sort of a similar idea, I look to where this arrow points me, it points me over here. I use these uh, these little flowers, so click around where these blue flowers are. And then our limiting factor bot lane is going to be this wall and this wall. I, as a, as a sort of reminder for posi positioning, I use this weird little um, outcropping of rocks, and I just use right at the tip, so I put it right there. And the ball is going to roll past all of my towers. It's going to miss this just slightly, miss this just slightly, and it's going to roll into bot lane and hit them. So yeah, these are the lineups right outside of base. Let's move into some even more interesting stuff. Still on blue side. We'll flip over to the red side after this. Okay, so for this next one, I play a lot of Lilia jungle, so it's more applicable for that. However, if you're playing Lilia mid, and you roam down to around here, or you play Lilia top, and uh, you've TP down for dragon fight, or you know maybe even Lilia support or ADC, um, what you're going to want to do is stand right at the bottom of this little tuft right here. So just the, the bottom side of it. Um, and then the lineup I use is there's these, all these little croppings of rocks. There's these two in the middle and there's this one on the right. So you want to put your E on that one in the right. It's going to roll all the way through here and boom, hit blue buffs. You can hit the jungler while they're doing blue, alt them, have your team collapse on them. Or you can just throw it out if you want to check if blue buff is up there. So really, really cool one. Um, another similar one, um, and we're just going to destroy Skettle here because sometimes he messes with these. Um, if you want to check the enemy raptors, you're going to want to stand right at the edge of this little point here. So right here is just fine, and you're going to want to clear this wall. So I'm just going to put it right here. It's going to go past this wall and hit one of the raptors here. So you can check if enemy raptors are up. You can hit the jungle if they're kiting the raptors to anywhere around here. Um, so uh, another really cool one right there. Okay, so this next one is really cool. It's probably the one with the highest potential for highlight montage plays and things like that. It's it's pretty nuts. Um, so if you're in a mid lane here, there's this little tuft of grass here. And as you can see, there's grass, grass, grass. There's grass on this side, but there's no grass. There's almost like a little gap of grass here. So that's what I used to click on. So just click right there. You're gonna walk up there. Then you're gonna look at Baron. There's actually a sword and shield in the back of Baron Pit, and the shield has a little dot on it. If you want to press E on the little dot, the ball is going to roll all the way through here, past this, past this, and into Baron. It's actually pretty nuts. So from here, you can check if Baron's up. If the enemy team is doing Baron, you can throw this out and potentially sleep them all, so long as 
you know, no one's standing here. If they are standing here, they're going to get hit by this. Um, it's it's pretty crazy. So I, I wanted to show this off. It's it's probably one of my favorite ones. So that's it as, as far as the blue side ones that I've found so far. There are some that are doable on both sides, so I'll show those at the end. Um, you know, there's no real way to, to look at red buff. It's got this giant thing here. Um, I did look into looking at uh, hitting Krugs here, but because there is this little lip that stops you from getting into um, the, the Krugs camp, you really can only throw it from here, which isn't very great. Obviously, Gromp really hard to hit and Wolf's really hard to hit. So the only camps that you can really uh, reliably or at all hit from a distance are the Raptors one that I showed, the blue buff one that I showed, and obviously the, the Baron Pit one. So now let's flip over to the red side. Okay, so on the red side here, I'm going to go over the same ones that I went over um, on the blue side. So first, it's throwing it up the lanes, and same, we're going to use these swords to point us. So this sword, just follow it, and you can look at these two little weird plants right here. Um, and then we're going to look down the lane for what's going to limit where our E is going to roll. So it's going to end up being these two um, outcroppings in the wall. So you can use this one, look at, you know, where, where the point of the wall is and just throw it a little bit to the right of that. So we're going to watch our E. It's going to roll all the way down the lane through here, roll right past the wall and into bot lane. So really nice one right there. The middle one is same as the last one and pretty crazy. Once again, you're going to stand right at the point right here where this part of the nexus comes out and you're going to look at the inhib here. You're going to want to put it uh, a good bit to the left of the inhib, throw your E there, it's going to fly over the tower, roll all the way down past our towers, through their towers, minions permitting of course, eventually it's probably going to hit minions, and then roll all the way here. So, another really cool one. Looking at top lane, once again, use the sword to point us. You can use these flowers if you want, if you want to just follow the sword, let's see about right here, um, which is around where the, the flowers are. And then looking at what's going to stop us bot lane, it's going to end up being this piece of the wall. So I want to just throw it right here. Um, so this way, it's going to roll all the way down the lane, miss this wall just barely, and then roll right into the middle of top lane. So really nice. So now we're going to go through the jungle camps that you can spot out. First up, we're going to do the same one as last time, the blue buff. So you can see that one on both sides. Um, there's these two little rocks in the wall that I use, so I just click right between the two little rocks in the wall. So put yourself right about there. Um, and what we're going to need to avoid is this outcropping in the wall here. So we're going to go a good bit to the left of that, throw our E, it's going to roll all the way through here, and boom, hit the blue buff. So really nice. Check out if blue buffs up, if people are doing blue buff. Um, so the next one that I wanted to do... Um, would have been Raptors. However, Raptors has this wall coming around it such that no matter where you are, if you try to get past this wall, it's not going to hit Raptors because you can see the Raptors are, are very safe in here. The only way that you'd really be able to hit them is if you're pretty close up. There is a lineup that's pretty easy where if you're a dragon, you can just throw your E over the wall and it's going to hit Raptors. So that's a nice little one right there. So Knowing that you can't really hit raptors there, you might think, okay, well, you can't hit blue. I mean, you can hit blue. Um, you can't hit gromp. You can't hit wolves. Um, you're obviously not going to be able to hit red. You can't hit raptors. What can you hit? Well, there's the krugs here. The krugs are actually easier to hit on this side than they are on that side because there's not that big um, sort of divot in the wall here. It actually curves in such a way that you can hit them. So what I use for my lineup is there's this big sort of crack in the uh, the stone here. I guess just really stone being shaped in an interesting way. So you click right where this uh, this bottom part hits. Um, so there's this little line here. Just click right there, and then you want to clear this wall. So you're going to put your E right here. It's going to roll all the way through and hit Krugs. So jungle doing Krugs, you can throw this. If you're maybe your bot lane's pushed up a little bit, you can throw this to check if the jungler's coming from Krugs. It'll roll all the way through. So really cool. Okay, so this next one, it's one of the cooler ones. Um, you're going to want to stand at the, the crack between this rock right here. So click right at the edge of it, really right there. Then you're going to look at Dragon Pit. There's a rock. There's, there's a bunch of rocks coming out of Dragon Pit here, the circle here. I put it right at the middle 
of this rock right here. So put your E right there. It's going to roll all the way through here, through here, and then it's going to hit dragon. Absolutely nuts. Okay, so the last two, uh, I'm recording this later, obviously, because I just found these. My friend actually pointed them out to me. You can hit Gromp. You just have to stand. Most most places in this bush will do it. I'm doing it in this uh, top portion of the bush. And just put your E on where Gromp will be. You'll throw it over the wall, and it'll zoom down and hit Gromp. You can also do it on the bot side. You just have to be standing in this bush anywhere around here. It's going to have to clear this wall, so a little bit to the right of that. And then you'll throw it, and boom, it hits directly onto Gromp. Um, so those should be all the, the jungle camps ones. So another cool little thing, you can actually hit uh, a ton of the camps. Okay, so the last one I want to show you guys is another really cool one. It is the cross map Lilia E. So if you're standing top side, you can do it from this bush, which I found is to be the easiest. Your limiting factor is going to be this wall. So you're going to throw E, and it's going to zoom all the way through middle, across middle, all the way through river, also have to make sure it doesn't hit this wall all the way into bot lane. I'm going to hit bot lane. You can do it from a little further back, actually. So you can actually do it right here as well if you angle it up right. So I'm going to throw the E here. Hopefully, yep, that will clear there. It'll clear through mid lane. Yep, looks like it's going all the way. It's going to clear past that wall, that wall, zoom all the way through here, and go to bot lane. And, of course, you can do a similar thing just from bot lane as well. Um, so you're going to want to throw it once again so it's clearing this. E is going to fly all the way through here. Rear Dragon Pit, and this looks a little wide, but looks like it's going to make it. Zoom all the way up here, and it's going to hit right where I was standing, right up there. Um, and so, you know, obviously you can do it from this bush as well if you throw it at the same sort of an angle. Make sure it's clearing this, though I think it might be best to do it here, just so that it definitely doesn't clip that. And then it'll zoom all the way through mid lane and go all the way, all the way, big way to top lane. Now I can see my beautiful face a little bit better. Um, so yeah, and, and that's uh, all the ones I have for now. If you guys have any, definitely let me know. I've just been messing around for a few hours in practice tool trying to figure things out. Obviously, you know, there's some like smaller ones, you know, that you can, oh wow, you can throw it all the way up here. I just wanted to point out some of the a little bit harder ones to do, more more interesting ones, the ones that hit jungle camps, the one that hit Baron and Dragon and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe. Um, something I would love for you guys to do is go follow me down below in Twitch. I've been streaming a ton of my games on my Lilia. I've been having a ton of fun and I'm going to be continuing to do that. I am live. Um, my schedule is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, sometimes other days, but those are the days I'm guaranteeing that I'll be live. Um, so yeah, definitely go check it out. Check me live. And, uh, you know, I got Twitter as well. I got Instagram, Discord, everything. Um, you should be able to find either below or in my Twitch stream. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Definitely tell me if you find any other things and I'll see you guys in the next video.